Hey my sweet pen friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin. Normally, I don't put together reviews here to share on my channel. However, when the kind people over at Kenro Industries offered to send me one of their new Esterbrook Gold Rush SD Fountain Pens, I thought I'd spice things up a little bit. If you wanna to cut to the chase, I love this pen. It's, dare I say, one of the most exquisite fountain pens I have ever tried. But in an effort to ward off some of that bias, I thought I'd task some of my non-fountain pen using family members to try this pen and give their honest feedback. I set up what I'd like to call a little bit of a blind unboxing slash review where they knew nothing about this pen other than it was a fountain pen and I wanted them to rate it on its visual appeal, how much they enjoyed writing with it, and its overall quality. Because in my opinion, despite prior experience, if a pen is good, you know that it's good. Well, here's how the review went. Hi, my name is Chelsea. I'm 20. And a fun fact is I make jewelry. Oh, oh, I'm wearing her earrings right now. Plug <laughs> that it. was not planned. Plug it. Well, these are some of my favorite earrings. We'll put a link in the description box because I do love these earrings. They're pretty cool. Thank you. I'm Dylan Bonares. <laughs> Sibling of the famous Devin Liu. I'm 21 years old. All right. Are you ready? No, but <laughs> we know how to edit, right? <laughs> so I have my mama here with me. So your name, age, and a fun fact. Arlene. I'm 61. Fun fact. Uh, just love being surrounded by my kids. I love being surrounded by family too, so this video is a lot of fun for me. Ready to be on my game show? Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the pen unveiling. The pen unveiling. And by the way, this is my dad. My name is Larry, um, old enough to be her dad. You've watched some fountain pen reviews before. Yes, I have. From our, our, fr our good friend, Roy, Penboy Roy. Penboy Roy, yes. Actually, a couple of recommendations. Mm -hmm. The Pelican. And some understand, understand, to better understand my writing instrument. See, I didn't call it a pen, I called it a writing <laughs> instrument. And I used Mont Blanc, and then I just wanted to see what it compared to one that he suggested mm -hmm. was comparable. I don't have much experience with fountain pens. I bought like a couple from Daiso, but didn't have much luck with it. <laughs> I just use like the big pens. <laughs> the big pen. Yeah, oh like, yeah, the ones you get at like Walmart. The big sticks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my nice luxury pen is Mont Blanc. I love it because the way um, it writes, it writes so smoothly, and it just slides, and and um, I just love it. Mm. And how long have you been? You and both you and Dad have been collecting Mont Blanc. I think you guys have the rollerball and ballpoint pens. How long have you guys been collecting those? Gosh, since 1980. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I've been using uh, a particular brand of pen for a number of years, ever since I, I reached what I consider a level of success. Um, in my profession, I started using a, a more upgraded pen. So, but in the past, I've used things like Parker and other types of pens, which were cool and cross. Um, which are actually given to me as gift sets, but not until I started using the current pen I use um, had I really felt that it was, the, it was the appropriate pen for me. Which is a Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. Mm. Yeah, Mont Blanc. My roller ball, um, which I use uh, quite a bit. I'm, I didn't I'm, know that you used Cross and Parker. Yeah, I, oftentimes they were given to me like as, as sets or gifts, and I just found them to be a little thin for me. The barrels yeah. were kind of thin to write with, so... It caused me to have a little bit of a different grip. Mm -hmm. And I like a little bit of a looser grip, and the Mont Blanc has a little bit um, wider, yeah. and, and it fits just better in my hand. Hmm. Have you ever used a fountain pen before? I have to say yes. Um, I don't think I knew enough about it to write with it properly. Um, and I only remember, my, my thoughts are only that it was, it was scratchy because I think I put too much pressure when I write normally, and I think I added too much pressure with it. I've always wanted to do an unboxing. Okay, here we go, here we go. This is your moment, Dill. Oh, look at that. Whoa, this is official. Oh, that's fancy. 
Gold Rush, Esterbrook. Can I get this in the camera? Hey. <laughs> yeah. I'm a reviewer. Very nice. Oh. Love the box. Yeah, this is the top of the box. So if you want to see the front. I don't know that you can. Wow. Okay, so it's Gold Rush. Mm-hmm. By Esterbrook. Esterbrook, Esterbrook. Esterbrook. Packaging. Oh, then you pull it out? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> There's a little fancy vibes. Wow. Look at that. It looks expensive. It looks like the galaxy. First of all, it looks so luxurious mm -hmm. already. And then you just slide the same thing. Mm -hmm. Wow. I love it already. <gasps> Look at that color. It's got a good feel to the box. It's nice and firm. This one has actually a beautiful kind of um, textured cover to it. It slides out. Mm -hmm. I like the pearl uh, swirl that it has, kind of the design mm -hmm. it has, pretty nice. That's so pretty. What is it? It looks like it's made out of champarado. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, you what? plugged the jewelry brand. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. I'm scared. So you have the nib up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I write slanted. Okay. I write slanted. Is that okay? <laughs> you mean upside down? This is how no, you write No, that's how I write. Watch, you'll see. Like, I swear. Why are you making your life so complicated? Hold on. It's so, oh. it's so far. I'm like not used to it. So like, um, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't use big sticks at home. I, I feel do. like you have some nice gel pens at home. I do. Chelsea knows. Because that. your handwriting is really nice. Chelsea knows. I use, I use like the blue, the blue big stick. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It I, makes I, me yeah. sad. <laughs> I started using the pilot pen. Out? <laughs> I started, I upgraded. I used the pilot. Okay. The G2. The G2? G2? I don't know. Yeah, we use 0.7. <gasps> no, I, oh, I don't write. Oh, okay. it's I'm like a 0. 0.38, 0. 0.35. Mm -hmm. That's okay. the life. That's the life. In high Chelsea school, I, I had like a phase where I wrote in the one. Ew. <laughs> I could Did you even make those? Yeah. It was a I pilot. That makes me no, It was a pilot one. That's like writing with a marker. I know. Because <laughs> I used to write big. I used to write big and bold. I can't. Mm. Wow, whoa, it's too fancy. <laughs> wow, look at this. So I do a lot of writing at work. Mm -hmm. We see patients and we do notes. Usually, you know, you just want to get done with your notes and write it and um, I use ballpoint and it just makes my writing look like a, what is it? Chicken, chicken scratch? Chicken scratch. This makes, look how beautiful. My writing has never looked that beautiful. That's not true. No, for real. <laughs> wow. True. I love it. You love it? Yes. My um, writing has hurried over the years. I used to write very block and very uh, formal, but now I just kind of just slide more. Mm hmm You know, when I print, would you say that this pen is conducive to that to help you? Oh yeah, because uh, I'm actually, I write really, really fast mm -hmm. and I tend to write everything down. So if I'm in a meeting or I need to remember something and I'll grab whatever is at hand, uh, a piece of paper, uh, a ticket or something, mm -hmm. and I'll just write my notes on there and I tend to write a little bit fast. It feels great in my hand. That's the, the first thing is like... It's not as slim as probably yeah, it's the comparable to, to, to the Mont Blanc, so I'm very comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. And it's a shorter pen, which uh, to me, the Mont Blanc feels a little bit too. So I feel I have a little bit more control of it. I thought it would slow me down. I thought writing with this pen would actually slow me down. Oh, really? As you can see, I mm. almost filled up the entire paper. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let's be like... I'm ready. I'm ready. I have my answer. <laughs> How would you rate the pen? Five, definitely. Why? From packaging to like the pen itself, it's just so pretty and like, I love it. What about you? I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little bit of a critic. <laughs> I'm gonna be a little bit of a critic. I give it a five. <laughs> five, like you said, it's just I love the color. I like like the little. It looks like a galaxy, and I'm all about like 
astronomy. Is that is that the right word? Astronomy? I don't know. You're all about it. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Why? Because I love the blingy and it just the blingy, <laughs> the blingy and it's just so luxurious looking. Mm -hmm. It looks very expensive. Just from the from opening the the case, the bag, and just the first time when I opened the box, it's just the way it looked. It looks very expensive. <laughs> I whenever I, I'm like in a meeting or you know in a group of people. Um, whenever I, whenever I take out my Mont Blanc, um, it has a certain reaction to it. People just like, oh, you know, even though it's very subtle, they'll look over and they'll say, oh, this guy writes with a Mont Blanc. Mm -hmm. And um, so impression is a lot for me, right? And I have Mont Blanc in, in the traditional black and gold. And I have a um, black and white gold. I also have the maroon and yeah, yellow gold. So one. it really, you know, it's, it looks great. Uh, it gives the first impressions, but I think if you took this took this out at a meeting as well, you pulled it out and screwed it and capped it mm -hmm. and started writing with it. Um, this would draw um, a lot attention. of attention to it and uh, curiosity as to what kind of pen and, and mm -hmm. certainly because it would be a fountain pen, but also that it uh, has a very very nice look to it. So to answer your question, did you ask me to rate it yet? Mm -hmm. On a scale of one to five, yeah, five being pretty. <laughs> Pretty up there. For me, of only visuals. because of the color is is uh, more of a feminine color. I would say a four and a half. Experience riding with it. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna say because it's not. I know <laughs> one, one point. point. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a four. It was it was different. I liked it though. I like what was it the shading? Mm -hmm. I like the shading, but. I'm a big stick guy, so. <laughs> I'm like. Yeah. I like when, like, in my notebook for school, I like when, like, you feel the, like, the pen marks on the pages. Like, it feels rough. Oh, my God. Oh, where if you flip it, you can feel, like, that indentation. I love that feeling. That's from having to push down. <laughs> yeah, I write really hard. You do. I've yeah. seen it. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't like writing light. It makes, it makes me feel like I'm writing messy. I like to be in control of like each. <laughs> so uh, through the paper. Yeah, I, like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna say a five compared to my first experience with fountain pens. And yeah, I just like the fine point, the shading and everything. I really enjoyed it. Yay. It's definitely a five. Yeah? Yes. Because I don't like the way I write, I for me, I think my handwriting is uh, not very good, but I would disagree. using using this pen, I feel like my my writing is beautiful. Look at that. I love it. It makes me want to write mm. and do some journaling. Oh, <laughs> and I don't do journals. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. What would you rate its enjoyability on a God, scale? God, definitely of a five. A that, five? Yeah. It's just keep rolling and rolling. It felt a little bit like a rollerball that keeps just going and going mm -hmm. and going. So and I kind of slowed it down. I wrote some notes. I wrote fast. And uh, I didn't scribble with it yet like you already normally do. But it, it, it flowed nicely and went over the, across the paper very well. So I would rate it maybe like a four because I don't think it's like the most expensive but I think it's kind of up there for a pen. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think quality is top tier. Yeah, definitely. I would say I give the quality like a 4.5. Like Chelsea said, I don't know if it's like the highest brand or the most luxury brand. But yeah, I give it a 4. Look at that. It's not a ballpoint. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. Five. It's a five? Uh-huh. Yeah. I think I would um, definitely purchase one of these. I would also rate it four and a half. Mm -hmm. I think it has the qualities that you would need, um, obviously, to accomplish the job and, and to write very skillfully, but also um, has with it the the appearance of being um, uh, like a high-level quality uh, instrument. You know, it looks very impressive. I might have to buy myself one. <laughs> oh, ding, ding, ding. We've been able 
Chelsea. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I'm a big stick. <laughs> to, all, to all my big stickers out there. No one is a big sticker <laughs> on this channel. If they're watching this, they're definitely not a big sticker, I guess. And who would want to be called a big sticker? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead, share your message with all the big stickers out there. I will say I'm always impressed with the quality of fountain pens. It's mm -hmm. it always feels fancy for me, like. I feel like it's like, up. yeah, we have to put the pinky up or like people have like, what is it, like the wax seal hmm. and they write like those crazy letters. Hmm. That's what I feel like fountain pens are for. But experience, you, I feel like it kind of changed my view on pens, but. Yeah, but you're still getting this <laughs> a big stick. Where's my big stick? <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, the body is nice and smooth and I love the gold trim color mm -hmm, me too. which I also have in my Mont Blanc just the detail good yeah thank I'll you. enjoy you <laughs> thank you. I, I, if I find the pen missing I know where to look then <laughs> I just want to give special thanks to my family for being so amazing and helping me put together this video. I would love to hear from you guys. Have you picked up an Estabrook Gold Rush SD? If so, what team are you on? Are you on Team Purple? Or did you decide to get the black one? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a pen friend who you think might also enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on those notifications that way you don't miss any of our videos. I do my best to upload here every Wednesday at 8 a.m. PST, so please take care until then. Feel free to enjoy more videos linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Hmm. Oh yeah, here are some outtakes. <laughs> so awkward. I don't know why I thought I would be taller. <laughs> I just know that it's gonna pick up on the mic just because of how this mic is. Yeah. It picks up everything. Just unscrew the cap, mm -hmm. and it'll just pop off. I knew that about fountain pens. I know you don't oh, like yeah. it. <laughs> just like trying to pull it off. Oh, okay, so there's a video that I never posted with the siblings because it just went all wrong. Like it was so bad. Not you guys, but just because I didn't explain anything. So Dylan and Jordan were pulling the caps off. Oh, oh no. They couldn't because it was a screw cap. It was so bad. I was actually going to pull it. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't write slanted. <laughs> it's gonna, it's hey, it's because I, I like to write slanted on line paper. I don't know if they'll be able to see it because it's so. <laughs> let bright. me redo it. No, let me redo it. Let me redo it. Don't disrespect the big. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>